Vacation season will be here soon, and as a teacher, let me tell you, I know all about that. Well, international tourism is growing at its fastest pace in seven years, and if you're going to go out of the country, now is the time to start planning. Joining us today with some international travel tips is two-time Emmy Award winner and Peabody Award winning journalist, Claudia Lombano. Welcome, Claudia. Hey, Stacy. I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. Well, Claudia, world of tourism is big business. So where should we start when planning a dream vacation? For so many people, as you said, summer is coming up, so it is the time to start planning. Uh, Last year, we saw 1.3 billion people traveling internationally, so really big numbers. They spent uh, $8.3 trillion on global tourism, so certainly a significant number for the global economy. When it comes to planning your trip, your dream vacation, your summer vacation right now is the time. Two to three months in advance for purchasing is a good time to get good deals. Think about planning one-way tickets if you can, because that's a really good way to strategize and figure out lower fares. Even if you just do that for research, looking at one-way tickets will help you determine whether there's a better deal out there. If if you can search for one ticket versus multiple tickets, that will also help you. And then set your fare alerts. Um, There are a variety of search engines that will help you find um, different travel during different times of the year, particularly for late summer, if we're looking at July, August, even September travel, set fare alerts so that you know when prices are changing for the trips that you're interested in. Well, what are some of the top concerns people have when they're vacationing in another country? It can be a little bit daunting to go into another country, certainly if you've never been there, if there's another language being spoken. But Visa found uh, in their global travel um, study, this is the study that they do every year called the Global Travel Intention Study, and they found that 87% of people who exchange currency in other countries come home with an average of $123, and only 29% of people actually convert that money back to their local currency. So that's wasted money. So spending is a big concern when traveling internationally. In fact, that same study also found that the biggest concern for travelers when they're international and in another country is the loss or theft of cash. So nearly 50% of people stating that that's a concern for them. So Visa says go cashless. Why use cash in a foreign country? All you need is your Visa card. They're accepted at 46 million merchants around the world, so offering you security and convenience. Um, So that's a great way to protect yourself when you're traveling abroad and not having to use cash. Well, I know I have been on the way out of foreign countries with my cash trying to spend it as fast as I can at the airport because it is hard to exchange once you get back into Absolutely. the Absolutely. Well, Claudia, I hear that you have some information about an exciting new contest. Tell Definitely. Us all about that, please. Yeah, Visa is launching um, a new challenge. It's called the Visa Cashless Challenge International Travel Edition. They are going to send one person, um, as well as a guest, on an international trip to either Thailand or Spain. The trip will be cashless. We want it to be cash free, as cash free as possible. And it's curated by we are working. Uh, Visa is working with two different travel influencers who have created trips. One trip is to Thailand. The other trip is to the Basque Country in Spain. The person who wins the challenge will be able to choose which trip they want to go on. Um, It's really easy to submit. You only have to create a two-minute video talking about why you have a passion for travel, how you engage with social media, and why you think you can take a vacation internationally and go cash-free for that vacation. And the contest runs from now until June 15th. Okay, both of those destinations are exceptional. I can't even imagine how you would choose one over the other. Yeah, one is more adventure, the Basque Country, and then Thailand is more of a kind of a relaxation trip. Okay, well, that will help help people decide. So there are a lot of great destinations out there. Now, how do we go about spending our money wisely when we are abroad? Yeah, again, with finances being a concern when you're traveling abroad, um, if you think about connected devices, by the year 2020, 70 million people around the world will be using connected devices. And those connected devices are all able to accept and give payments. So digital payments are ubiquitous around the world. Visa has more than 46 million merchants around the world. So traveling with your Visa card is really can really be your, one of your best travel accessories when you're going from country to country, um, certainly spending in 
those countries where you have the security, the convenience, zero liability when you're making those purchases. If you do absolutely need cash, then Visa suggests going to a local ATM and taking out local currency. You're going to get a better conversion rate that way. Same with when you pay with your Visa card. Choose local currency as your um, denomination for the exchange, and you're going to get a better conversion rate then as well. Well, Claudia, as I said, I'm a teacher, and I'm definitely looking forward to my vacation and planning some travel this summer. So where can we go for more information? You can go to visa.com slash cashless travel, and we encourage people to sign up for the challenge and perhaps win a chance to go um, across the world, either Thailand or the Basque Country in Spain. Yes, thank you so much for all this information, especially bringing this exciting new contest to, to you us. Bet. Because somebody out there is going to get that one of those lucky trips, and you know maybe it's just one of my viewers. That's right. Good luck. Okay, Claudia. Thank you. Have a great day. You as well.